Hello guys, I'm back with another video and today we are doing a uh, unboxing of this Burn Jackson 600 watt electric lawnmower. The reason being is because <sighs> maybe you'd say quite foolishly I lent our lawnmower to one of our neighbours who had a really long grass. He normally bought the lawnmower off someone else. They were away for quite some time so he came to me saying, can we borrow your lawnmower? The grass is really long. Uh, every lawnmower have a different height adjustment for cutting. And he decided to put it on the lowest level and uh, snap the belt. So I did try and fix it. He did say pay for another lawnmower to fix it. And I thought, you know, just to leave it. It was an old lawnmower. The blade was a bit blunt. The motor was a bit, it wasn't cutting great. So we've had it for about, probably about five, six years. With the Bosch. I did try and fix it, took it apart, and um, instead of taking the whole motor unit apart, I accidentally opened up the motor and uh, it wouldn't fix the two contacts that go, that make the water, make the motor, the spindle spin around, uh, were not fitting on properly and it was just sparking and cutting out, so um, I kind of killed it off a bit more. I would have needed a new blade anyway and a new belt, so. I figured get a new one, I saw it in Argos for I think £112, which is much cheaper than a Bosch equivalent and got a good review, so the only thing I think negative about it was a bit heavy. So let's open it up. Now, I did get open before because all of this uh, sellotape here is sellotape round everywhere. And I figured Argos in the past had bought an iron for them years ago and it looked like it is taped up and when I opened it, it had been one of the returns, so I took it back saying I don't want to return. Um, with the iron, so I took it straight back to the shop and said, "Look, it looks like it's been a been returned, so I don't really want to return." Oh, we get returned one that it just comes straight from the warehouse. I said, "Well, I don't want to return one." She said, "I can open it up for you, have a look." So she did open it, which we're going to do now. And indeed, what we found in was something that looks like it's not been used before, but I could be wrong. Yeah, look, pretty much there. That looks all right. A bit dusty though. So it's all kind of got the arm. This is some of the bits and bobs uh, that connect. Um, the and this is the thing that collects the grass instructions there more stuff this is the main unit so that's the arm that's the old unit it's got a good quite a good lever of different heights which the other one didn't have um tells you what you need to do ideal for fine leave lawns ideal for healthy level lawn Hardware and lawns are ideal for cutting long grass, damp lawns and uneven lawns. For long grass and damp grass, recommend using a higher setting, going to the lower setting afterwards. Yep, never go to more than half its height in one go. That's what my neighbour did for my old lawnmower. So we're going to lift up one thing, said it's quite heavy. It is quite heavy, actually. Oh. But in the same respect, it looks pretty solid. So, cord. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. So, to get the box out of the way, the box can go there for now. Make sure it's all good. Don't chuck the box away or anything until you know it's good. Um, looks alright. Pretty solid unit. Edge, edge kind of cutting so the wheels are level with the edge where the blade goes. The blade, check underneath. The oh, blade's nice and sharp. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty solid roll as well, so you get like the lines, not that our garden or grass is any good for that anyway. Not looking really fancy, wheels are chunky. Nice and chunky, solid wheels. Mm, a bit hard. Yeah, it looks solid wheels. <laughs> um, does it move really freely? Not really. But maybe it's not meant to move freely so it does say follow the 
quick guide to get it started to the, on the packaging. This is it, a visual instruction manual. So I'm gonna, gonna try, put this, kind of doing it on my own today, this video, so excuse it's not the best. And put the camera, kind of, like that angle there. Yeah, that will do. And start trying to. Yeah, that's good. Good that angle there. So, got a quick guide. Quick guide says. Before the quick guide first, just give symbols. Blah blah blah. Uh, safety information. Assembly, unpack all the parts, lay them flat and stable. So, for move packaging materials, shipping devices, applicable, make sure delivery contents complete and not damaged. Bits of cable, okay. Lead and lower handle through the hole in the cable, retain relief and hook it on. Right, okay. Okay, so that's that. So Got a good picture of that? Yep. So we've got uh right. That's part of the thing that goes to there. That's the plug, so that needs to be so we've got the top part here. Yeah, the arm the handle. And we need to get these bits here, which is the lower part. Yep, and we connect this lower part. Again, don't be too hasty in um, looking over the package packaging because you'll regret it if it's not right and you need to return it, which you don't want to do um, without it being right. Um, right, so this seems to be steep. Oh, it is. So this is, open this up. Some bits here, that's the thing that you fit in the bottom, we're not doing that yet. Um, the other bits out there. Get all the bits out, so these are the bits. Um, that's going to connect to the actual body of the mower mower. The arm, um, this is the bit they mentioned. What is that? Lead the lower candle through the hole. Cable to relief and hook it on. Right. I've got an idea what we're going to do. Ah! So that's it. Like that. I guess. Hmm? Yes, yeah, so I've hooked that bit on. Said so that first, hook that on there. Because it's going to be connected. Right. This now has to go, this bottom bit has to go into the, um, on here, yeah, on there, let me get that out of the way, on there, yep, so we've got some bits for that, the pictures aren't the best, quite small actually, yeah, but it's self-explanatory because it looks right there, so we've got to hook that back on. Right, this thing here. It keeps them falling off. Right, here we go. Put it on again. Right. So that's on. That is on. This is now going to go like so. Connect that thing on there. Yep. And likewise, this one is going to connect on this end. Yeah, so you push it back on, push it on. He says, ow. Yeah, so that's pushed on there. And then this, we get the right kind of angle. Bit more up. Yep. That's going to go on there. Connects on that and connects on that. So, yeah. So, connects on that, connects on that, and then. Right, so. 
we just put it on like that for now. So it's going to connect it on. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to need to screw one of these on. I think these are all the same. Oh, actually, one isn't. Um, Not sure which one goes on which. Oh, it's a clear one. It's clear one has to go on, or this uh, this one. I think the circular one goes on here. No, it doesn't. No, this because this goes on the. This one will go on the adjustment for the arm, just so you can fold it over. So that will go on there. Yeah. So if I twist that round. He says, he says, he says, come on. Oh, it's going in, it's going in. So, yeah, just keep on getting it right. Just in the right position, he says. Right position, he says. Keep on twisting it around. I've got in the picture that. Yeah, so. I'm doing, I'm going to twist in this handle on it, then you can lock it in place, you can adjust the angle, I'm going to loosen that up a bit, nope, loosen that up a bit more, there you go, so you can lock it in place, I'll do the same on the other side, with that, push it on, like so, like, and then we'll do the other side, we'll put that back down again, so it's a bit, that part, I'll just do that now, That's what I've done basically. If you look now, this is the thing to you can different angles you can have the the handle at, and I think that's the right kind of angle to have it. I'll see in a minute. So uh this just is like a toggle thing so you can adjust it, you do on this side, I release it, and this side I release it so you can just adjust what angle you want. So I'll leave it that angle, put it up there, it's gonna be up there. Put on there. That's locked in place pretty solid. Okay, next thing to do is. Hmm, what do I do now? Okay, so next thing we do is this arm, this again, so you can loosen it and put this arm down. So this will go. Just a bit heavy, this on there. The plus, um, where does that go? Does it go in there? I presume it goes on there. Let me just see. Fix the cable to the handle. Fix the cable to the handle. Um. Okay, let me just do this first. So quickly do this bit. Zoom that goes like that. Or like that. Let's have a look. Yeah. Can I go like that or 
there. So I'll put one in on first. Put the easy one in first. Oops. That's not good. So what I've done here. Yeah. For the bigger part of the handle, you put the this thing to the other side. This uh, this thing here uh, detached it completely, and put one end here, and the other bit there with a the washer on the outside. And they just tighten up, just so you can uh, fold it over, uh, so you can just instead of having this big long arm, you can fold it over if you need it to store it somewhere. Quite clever actually, so that locks it in place. So just tightening it up there. That's good, and you can just then again toggle, release it, but that locks it in place. So locked in place here, near the machine, part of the body of the machine, the handle, and then the handle up here. So you can fold this bit down and then fold this bit down. So done this side. Now this one, I uh, assume, um, this wire you got to stop it from fraying. So it's a wire from the actual lawnmower, which goes up into the switch for thing. Then you've got the power cord coming off outside it. All oh, looks quite solid actually. It seems a bit more solid than the other one. It's got nice grippy. Kind of neoprene type handle, so it looks a lot more comfy than the other one. I'm not sure what this is for though. Is that to keep the wire away from getting caught? Possibly. Not entirely sure. We'll work it out later. I'm not seeing that before. I weren't on the Bosch, anything like that. So I think this. I assume this is going to go like that, like that. I think because it's got a hole there, but it should go like that. But that's going to get in the way of that, isn't it? Should not go like that on the inside. It doesn't show anything about where it should go. Um, schematic. What is that number? Part 14. Cable tain relief. That, this thing came with a tame relief. Um, I'm still a bit confused. Where do I go for that? So, I don't think it goes into that. We're going to always change it afterwards. Fix the cable to the handle. Enjoy the fix the cable to the handle. Right, let's just, I'm just have a go. I'll show you in a minute, because, um... Right, I'm just going to fix it. I think I'll put it the inside. Why does it matter? I want to fit in the inside. Ah, right. So, this does indeed have to go on the outside because it don't fit on the inside. There's not enough room for it to be in the right position. I don't think to be in the inside. It could be actually. Put it on the outside. So, line that up. Looks a bit better. Looks like it flows a bit more. Not time to go all the way up to the top. Yeah, so we're just on the outside. I'm putting it on now. So what you do for this bit, I'll show you because I didn't show you before. You just unscrew it. So take it off completely. 
push the bolt through he says why is that not work? ah wait, wait one second got to need three hands pull it up line it up I'll push it through in a minute and I get one one second there you go I've pushed it all the way through having said that I just made a boo boo that's no, not right Wash has got to be on the other side, so push it all the way through, push it all the way through, push it all the way through. Yeah, then that will go there. And then on top of that, no, nope, that won't go there, that will go there first, like that. And that will go over it. I assume that's right. Like, kind of, yeah, it seems to line up good. The uh, rubber bit holds the line and lines up with the metal so this is the rubber bit that holds the cabling in place it lines up with the metal bit of this upper part of the handle that looks right because I couldn't see it in the picture maybe I missed something sometimes you've got to go and improvise a bit so then you're going to get this thing there and screw it on here right come in the box you have to assemble them if you look at our running machine video that was a nightmare assembling that thing but it's still working looking good i don't really use because it's more i'm clumsy with running so i'll probably end up breaking it so don't do that you know, if i go to a gym i use a running machine there but i won't use a home running machine they're too small unless you've got a really expensive ones like you have in the gym that are so expensive so it just got no it's still too much you have to adjust it until it will pull it shut. Yeah, so, right, so we've got that. So that's that. It don't, don't seem right. It doesn't seem right, that. I'm going to adjust it one second. I'm going to just loosen it a bit and push this up. Push it up. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Just there. Uh, I'm tying it up again. Let's see if it close. Oh, we're close. I'm not sure that's the best thing. I'm not sure that's in the right position. Maybe. Well, this isn't it. I'm not going to be doing it. I'm just putting it back in the back in the garage like that. We've got a garage, you see. Blessed enough to have a garage. Um, now this bit here, these clips here, that hold the ensure the cable clips supplied are used. To fix cable to handle. Fix the handle. Okay. Ah, I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, I assume this is to stop the this cable being loose. So we've got some clips. Quite clever. Yeah, that's the one. Not very really secure though. So one clip there. So one clip. I'll put one there. I'll put another clip here. So this is like a clip. The kit, but there's two bits is it I'm kind of thinking should it go in there up here I don't think so seems a bit twisted there but I think it's gonna work fine I just clip that one in there yeah that's just holds it in place You've got two clips this for the cable that comes from the body that goes to the motor it goes up here up the arm um, up the handle so I'll put one clip there and one clip here. Yeah. So um, this thing here as well, you have to hold this up and press try it two things at a time. So you don't end up kind of chopping your fingers off or doing something dodgy. And just hold it like that when you need it. That was similar to a thing, but this seems a lot better unit and I like this as well. This is a drop in the height. Drop and hide back the big handles here. You can properly 
you can properly adjust it. These so I'm going to pull this tag off now. Yep. So that's. So you can see it actually lifting up as I adjust it, it lifts up. Look at the highest level, that's the highest level. See how high the back is? Like going off road. And then you drop it to the lowest level. Grass quite long because it'd been a, been away. That's the lowest level. So you just cut a different level. It's quite solid, you know quite solid. So the last thing is to put the, um, I've got a lot of cable, got loads of cable there, tons of cable. So we're just gonna undo the cable. Now I don't think we may not need an extension lead for this. You just need an extension lead for the other lawnmower. So, um, yep, so that's the cabling undone. I normally wrap it round the top here. Um, mm -hmm. Connect the power supply. Yeah. Yeah. Double extension cord. And hook the loop around it with the cord strain. I think you just do this so. That. It's just I think to keep the cord away from the blade. I'm sure someone will work it out for me. Someone can tell me. Ah! Right, maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to do one hand. I just have to push it on. I, don't, I may just not use that. I think it'd just be kept with a cord. Just hold it away like I normally would have. I'll, I'll work out how that works. So this is it then. The shade from front to back. So this is the um, front of it. Words are quite plasticky. They look like they're rubbery, but the plasticky, the handle of it is brilliant. Much better than one the wash. You just lean you know, for the height. You can just reduce height. You can see it really lifting up. Um, handle to carry it. One thing to say, it's quite heavy. Seems right to me. This is the handle. Handle's kind of got this kind of nice neoprene soft thing, and you just you need to engage it. You have to press this, and then pull it at the same time as you do two hands. Make sure you don't accidentally put it on um, back of it. Roller back wheels quite big and chunky. Uh, grass will come through there. Cut and then onto the. Um, the hold holding thing when it holds it. Um, so then just to um, kind of indicate when it's full. I always have a look. You, you can tell when it's full anyway because the grass starts not being picked up. At that point, I normally change it, empty it. Quite nice, quite solid stuff. Um, like I said, 112 pounds from Argos reduced. 1600 watt uh, motor. There's a more expensive one that wasn't available, uh, and um, I'll need to really cut the grass. So it looks pretty solid. Um, this thing, I'll put the camera up there. You can see it there. I'm just gonna have to lift this up. Um, why am I struggling? A look. What's this? Place the metal frame inside the glass collection bag. Make sure the clip is fully secured to the metal frame. Ah, right. So yeah, you've got these plastic clips that have to collect connect to this metal frame here. So, 
this is slightly more. So this has to go over that on both sides. Let me put that down and do it. side clip 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 yeah, kind of keeps its shape I guess time I've done this we don't want to get I want to get that car grass cut it's far too long since the lawnmower has got broken me trying to fix it one weekend could have cut it and then we went away so it's been weeks and quite a, quite a long time to do another broken I was hoping I'd be able to just change the belt after ruining the motor but the blade was a bit wrecked and blunt and ruined probably would have needed a new blade so there you go that's it plasticky bits clipped on now it's retained its shape it'll still close down but it's retained its shape so I'm going to just now ah I need to slot the bottom bit as well bottom bit of the arm I need to go in there and they clip it under there I'm just going to do that not going to be the best of video please in the comments have not got any to help me to hold a video camera so it's not very really professional but maybe it'll help you guys to uh, see if you want to get this thing I'm going to do a review and once I've used it give my thoughts on what it's like so that's all there so what we have is clipped around the metal bit on the side there plastic bit clipped on the other side and then clipped in at the bottom yeah so that's going to go on the back here should slot in now and this is he hopes hell don't look right doesn't look right um That's it, that's one. Just slide 